I want to take a minute to show you what you can do with the junk journal. A lot of people do a lot of things, but this one is my personal one. Very first junk journal I ever made. So you can see by the cover, it's not real fancy. You know, it's very basic, but I love it. It has the things I like. Um, anyway, this is my junk journal. And this one was made from an old Shakespeare book and it just has two signatures. And I will show you what I did with it. Now, when I made this one, I didn't use any, um, any book pages. All I did when I made this one, because I didn't, I didn't know anything. I didn't know all this cool stuff that you could do yet. So when I made this one, I just used coffee dyed paper and I made two signatures with coffee dyed paper and then I figured out how to bind it in the book not my best work but you know it was the very first thing I made and I I do really like it um you can see I used some medical tape here I mean I've got all kinds of you know different different things. Um, this is when I'm learning how to make a, a zine, I guess they call these. So anyhow, um, I have my first page and this one was just, like I said, it was just coffee dyed paper and I did, I use this as kind of a combination. Sometimes I did planners, sometimes I did memories for the week, and sometimes I just did an art journal page. So on this one, I glued a bunch of pages down. I think um, one of the YouTubers likes to call them underpants. So I glued the underpants on, went over with some gesso, and then this was a, I think I did this with Mod Podge over a print. And then I started. So I just started by deciding I'm going to use this as my planner. And so I made my little daily plan. I used a lot of gesso when I first started journaling. Actually, I guess I did put some book pages in there because this is a book page. Huh, I thought it was just coffee dyed paper, but I guess not. So, you know, I started, this is all, you, you have to learn somewhere. So started, I found the pieces of paper that I liked, tore them, stamped them, glued them. And then I started by just doing little random things. Why did I staple this? Oh, I think I wrote a secret in here. <laughs> it was a secret that I didn't want anybody to know. But as I was going that first year of journaling, I would watch YouTube videos and then I would come over to my journal and I would try it out. So this one here is where I tried making a paper bead. I think it was the paper outpost that I watched how to do this on. It was so long ago. It's so hard to remember. Um, you can see this was 2020 starting. It was that COVID year. We've got our masks on there. So I guess it's only been a couple years since I've been journaling. Paper ribbon. That was another thing that I learned how to do on YouTube. Oh, yeah, it says my son is 11 and he's 13 now. Um, experimenting with colors. Little inserts. This is Mod Podged pictures. And you just, you know, I just glued the papers if I wanted to write 
I didn't like the paper that was there, I would just glue a new paper down. That's what I did here. And then um, here's an art page I did. This is a napkin, some Wizard of the Art, Wizard of the Oz, <laughs> Wizard of Oz clip art. There's a little planner page that I was doing. Some more journaling. A little practicing doing some painting and stenciling. This looks like this was a library a catalog card. And some writing spots. So you see, if there isn't any place to write, all you have to do to make it writable, you can glue little things in to make a writing spot. Um, or you can do what I did here with just lightly put some white gesso and I found that I liked doing it with my hand better than a paintbrush because with my hand I could really spread it around and it just became more uh, it was a lot smoother and you don't get those brush marks that you do and it seemed like a little was able to go a lot longer if I used my hand and going through I remember when I did this one, somebody on Instagram did a page in these colors and I loved the blue and the orange together. So I figured, ah, oh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> this is Oregon. Everything just it doesn't quite dry all the way in Oregon. It always sticks together. Sorry about that. <clears throat> uh, more journaling. There's another little flip spot where I've got some little, and these I just print them out on my printer and I would cover them with some, I don't think I covered this with Mod Podge because I really don't like Mod Podge. Um, I think I covered it with clear gesso just to protect it since it was just regular old printer paper. It's not photo paper or anything like that. This was leftover deli paper from a pizza box. And I went ahead and I sealed that. And then I glued this these things down because washi tape doesn't always stick very well and it doesn't last. So if you want it to last, you do need to glue it down. Ooh, I forgot about this page. I was really proud of this page when I was doing it. Wrote a little love note to my husband there. And my 70s page. Let's see, there's another flip spot. It's my daughter and I. And I liked this one. This one was fun. This is just an art journal page. I've got some blackout poetry. This was from a magazine. Although this image was not cut out of a magazine, this was a Mod Podge image where you put, you put the Mod Podge over it and then you let it dry and then you rub away the paper and it leaves kind of a transparent image. That's how you get these little transparent parts here and that's why it's so smooth. You can't actually feel it. And then I saw someone online had doodled on their ladies in their junk journal. And so I thought, oh, I'm going to try that. And I did that. And I really liked how that came out. Glued some beads on there. And here's, it, this page is really thick because this is where I wanted to have a different background. This is actually a lunch bag. Looks like I tore the lunch bag in half and glued it on there. Then I have some other little pieces of paper glued down. And you can see this is still where I was just writing my weekly plans. And then a little note copying down a poem 
by Brianna West. That really spoke to me. And I started doing that too. I would find poems that just really spoke to me. I was going through a kind of difficult time here. And I would copy down the poems in my journal and then I would do a page that fit whatever I was feeling that day. There's another art journal page. This is a magazine image. And I use some um, texture paste here to build this up. Glued this paper down. Ah, the list. Getting ready for back to school. Nineteen ninety nine to twenty twenty. A lot of aging there. A lot of gray hair. And looks like this was this was gesso, but with the purple, I'm thinking that I might have taken some distress ink and rubbed over that as well. There's more gesso. This I just made, this is from a magazine page, made a little memory book. Some pictures of that week in here. And then attach that with washi what we got here. It's kind of fun going through this. <laughs> Were you expecting something amazing? Lasagna, bread, paper towels, buttermilk, grape, jelly, strawberry jam, regular bread, and a hamburger. <laughs> Apparently for some reason I decided I needed to keep my grocery list that day. Maybe someday Someone will find this and end up putting that grocery list in their junk journal 200 years from now, just like we do. This was a jelly painted page that I just ripped apart and glued on there because I liked the colors. Then I would experiment with painting the backgrounds, different colors. or memory keeping. <laughs> Banana Fred, our little slug. I mean, he's not actually our slug. He lives in our yard, but we see him all the time, named him Banana Fred. And another blue and orange page. It was really into the blues and the oranges for a while there. Another homemade little bead charm. Not a whole lot of planning going on that week. That's the first week back to school. Well, actually, our school doesn't start until after Labor Day. So this would have been the first week for teachers back to school, where obviously I didn't even have time to write this down. Um, what these two things are right here, this is just packing tape. And when I clean off the edges of my jelly plate, I'll just take that packing tape and, and lay it down and then yank it up to peel off all the tape. And I save that and cut them up when I need little bits of color here and there. So this is what that looks like if you ever try that. And some more planning. Now what I would do, these pages didn't just happen to work out like this. They were originally all the same size and 
So when I would come in, I would think, how do I want to do this particular week? And I decided, well, okay, I want one day per page. And then I would trim the pages so that that whole week would be together. So that's another idea that you can have there when you're doing your journaling. Board photocopy list. What board? I wonder what that was. Hmm. Not quite sure what I was talking about, but apparently I didn't get very far because I couldn't even make the list. <clears throat> Life of the teacher. Not even time to plan. And... Ooh. We had a really big forest fire here a couple years ago. Uh, the fire was about an hour north of us. These are not photoshopped or altered pictures. You can see those. That was our actual sky. It was orange. It was the strangest, eeriest thing especially considering how far away we were from the fire. But our entire area was like this. And some little tag. Another little, oh, looks like this one. I made out of a little envelope. Have that in there. This was, must have been September 11th. Never forget. I remember this page. I had fun making this. I didn't do a lot with it, but I just, I had fun playing with it. This was a piece of gel paper, gel painted paper. I tore, glued down, and then I used black gesso and covered the part that I wanted to write. And then I just used an or a white paint pen. And my plan at this point when I was doing my journaling was, okay, I'm gonna have a little flip in page and I'm going to write a little something positive from each week. And uh, Boy, teaching was so hard uh, during that time. There's more just so you can see the, um, the color, the words through there. She's so cute. Again, another little journaling card that I never quite did anything, didn't do anything here. This was a fun art page to do. Life before coffee is strange. This is a napkin, playing around some stamping, distress ink, collaging, some little beads glued on there. The glue that I used here is called reptile glue and that glue is absolutely amazing you can get them on amazon this was kind of a fun page i like this one getting closer to halloween as you can tell the colors are changing High school reunion, 30 years, canceled. Hooray, COVID. This is one of my all-time favorite art pages that I've ever done. I love the way this turns out. I just cut out images from magazines. I glued a bunch of little pieces of paper down. Then I painted over it with a wash of paint to make it kind of all the same color. I was stamping. 
gluing. I just, I really liked this one. And then I took my silver pen and I added some details. It says, she dreams of faraway places and daring adventures. This one, I took these from Daphne's diary. And here's an example to show how it doesn't matter if there are things on the page. You can just write over it. The point of a junk journal is to reuse what's already here. So I had a bunch of maps and, and things down here. Just write it. Sometimes I will just write over it. In this case, I wanted it to be softer and light. So I put a coat of a very thin coat of gesso down first. And then a nice little poem there. A page envelope. January. This was 2021. I didn't like how this one turned out. And I could cover it with black gesso and start completely over. But art is a journey. And just like I tell my students, you're not always going to create amazing art pieces. Sometimes it's just about the act of creating, not necessarily the result. Well, it's always, not sometimes. It's always about the act of creating. This page... I also really liked. I love the soft purples and peaches of this one. Um, this was a picture in a magazine that I cut out. And I've got some Tim Holtz things here. What lies before us and what lies behind us are small matters compared to what lies within us. You cannot prevent the birds of sorrow from flying over your head, but you can prevent them from building nests in your hair. I like that one. And I was just reading this. It looked like this was um, when, when I was talking about the vice presidency. It says, tomorrow's January 20th, 2021. Tonight is the last time a little girl will ever say that a woman cannot make it to the White House. Tomorrow we will have a female vice president and wonder what all the women who fought for our right to vote would say if they could see tomorrow's inauguration day. So I really like that page. There we go. These clips, I am not a fan of these. They are so difficult to work with. They're awkward, they're hard to open and close, they're heavy, they're bulky. I don't, in fact, I don't know if I've used one more than once or twice since then. And this says, I'm just, this, I'm just reading because I was just goofing off, wasting away the day. In the house is a huge pile of laundry, bathroom that needs a good scrub, bedroom that needs some serious cleaning, but it's gonna wait. Oh, I like how that page turned out. <clears throat> There's an example of just writing over what you have. Oh, I have a blank page in here. I might have to go in and do something with that. This one I did for my son. He wanted me to do something with this cat. My son loves cats. And so that's what I did. Got some napkins. And there's some more cats for my son. <laughs> it says right there, my son has a serious fascination with cats. He has a collection of stuffed animals that he calls his team. 
and each one has a name and a purpose. All eight million of them apparently have to live in my room. Once in a while, the team has to have a meeting. This was an envelope. And this was the day that I got my vaccination for COVID. 330 days from the closure of school to my final vaccination shot. Still wearing masks. And I have a little pull out. Finally vaccinated, 6th of February, 2021. And an actual mask. What a strange time that was. Still is, especially since they've just recommended that we all wear our masks again. Here's another image from a magazine. This was, you can tell that this was a Mod Podge. Again, take putting the Mod Podge down and then soaking it in water and scraping off the paper. Just playing around, fun art page. Oh, I love this. It's really hard to see the colors and I don't think that you can see it, but it, it's this really pretty sparkly, orange. To do this, what I used, grab it, so I can show you. I use this right here. Distress Mica Stain in Jack-O-Lantern by Ranger. And I sprayed that over after I was um, painting. I, well, no, I didn't paint this one. I covered it with gesso and then I stamped over it. And I think I did do some watercolor painting. Oh, this is one again where I was just copying down some words from a book that I liked. This, I found this book on eBay called The Strange Woman, and I still have the actual book. I'm planning on making a journal with it someday, but I wanted to just do a little art page around it. And this one... I was just not feeling great that day. You can see under here, fraud. Not happy with myself on that day. There's another page with the sparkly orange mica stain. Copied something down. Notes on overdue apologies. Yep, I liked this one. This was talking about just coming to fact, coming to terms with the fact that you're just going to have to forgive some people who will never apologize. Because if you cannot forgive them, and move on, you will be harboring that anger forever. Forgiveness isn't for the other person. It's for you. It's so that you can heal and you can move on. And that is where this inspiration came from. Oh, another blank page. Huh. More for me to do. Two pages. Uh, this is another where I was trying to learn how to do all these altered paper clip things. And I really like this poem, The Frog's Goodbye. Goodbye, my little children, I'm going away for the winter. And then that's it.
that's the end. I guess I should do something here at the very end to mark the end of that journal. But that is what a junk journal looks like. It is just a place to do whatever you want to do. You can do art journaling, you can do real journaling, you can do planning. There are no rules. It's, it's your journal to do with what you want. Take some of those old papers that are no longer getting used, put them in a new book, and make something new and beautiful. That's art, or that's junk journaling. Have a good day.